So that's a very good question um, and it relates to actually developmental changes that um, are happening in um, the brain um, of people as they grow older. So the brain consists of mainly gray matter and white matter and um, as, we, as we grow older um, what we see is that there's a, a reduction in um, the volume of gray matter. So this means basically that we are born with a larger number of neurons than we actually need so that the brain has the ability to sort of create all the possible connections which will be necessary later in life. Um, and then su successively as you grow older um, the unnecessary neurons get removed from the brain. So basically the older you get the more neurons your brain loses. Um, as scientists we can measure this using um, magnetic resonance imaging, um, which is a technology basically which um, allows us to um, acquire images of the human brain. And when, when you look at these pictures, what you see is that the brain consists mainly of gray matter and white matter. And if you measure the brain of people of different ages, um, what you can see is that Throughout these different groups, there will be a reduction in gray matter and an increase in white matter. And people think that this is an indicator of um, the fact that we are losing um, neurons as we become older. You can think of this as, um, as a sculpture using a block of marble. Um, so basically, when you're born, your brain is like a block of marble, a raw black uh, block of marble which has not been um, touched at all. Um, and as you grow older, you will see that block of marble sort of tran transition into um, a final sculpture. So when you're born, your, your brain is really like a raw, untouched, um, in its raw and untouched state. And, and um, when you become an adult, it's more like the, um, the statue um, of Michelangelo, the David statue of, of Michelangelo. So a way to describe this would be to to think of your brain as a muscle, although the, the brain is of course much more complicated than a muscle, but um, when you train your muscle, what happens is that it increases in strength, whereas if you don't train your muscle, it will lose, um, um, lose its, its strength, um, right? So um, the brain and the acquisition of knowledge, there's a similar relationship between these two, um, these two um, factors in a sense that if you want to continue to be a good learner, you should keep on training your brain.